Tonight it's our $1,000 challenge where we show you just how far a grand can go. But I'm taking the challenge one step further. I'm going to show you how easy it is to save a thousand bucks. But don't worry, it's not just my advice you have to trust. Because I've roped in a financial expert, a lady with all the tips and tricks, Sarah Leslie. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jo. I'm very excited to meet you. Yeah, so, give us a bit of an update about your background. So, I'm a, a licensed financial planner and I've been in the industry for coming up 20 years. 20 years? You don't look old enough for that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you have a young family? I do, yes. So, you're used to the same struggles that we all are with saving? Absolutely. We've actually been contacted by a local family who are really keen for your advice. Do you have to put some of your theories to the test? Let's do it. How ah, cute as buttons. Hi, <laughs> Joe. So, here they are. G'day, Ian. Hello, Joe. Hi, nice and to meet you. Reagan, lovely to meet you. Hi, Joe. You too. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. She's got all the answers for us today. So tell us a little bit about your family. Uh, so there's four of us. There's me, Reagan, my lovely missus, and two little kids that are running around in the background, Harper and Aiden. We rent. Uh, I suppose we fit into that demographic that they call jams, just about managing. Um, but we're kind of happy with that treading water of, of renting, certainly while the kids are small and we're perhaps not working both full time. Uh, I work as a journalist on a weekly newspaper. Um, I've just started my own uh, candle company. You know, we, um, we could always use a bit of extra money like everybody. All right, so our goal is to get you guys an extra $1,000 in savings, OK? Mm -hmm. So, Sarah, what's your biggest tip? So, my first tip is uh, to write yourself a budget. So, have you written a budget before? Not really. No. <laughs> the biggest thing with putting a budget together is just getting that increased awareness of what you're spending. People often don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. So, look, there's lots of websites out there. If you can go in and have a look at the apps or some of the tools that are available online and you can use that as a way of getting you started. Once you've got that done, what you'll find is that the savings jump out at you and you could be saving, you know, 50 to even $100 a month just by having that awareness. One of the most important things about budgeting is to make sure that you're realistic. It's a little bit like dieting. If you overdo it, you're likely to fall off the bandwagon and not achieve your goals. And what about utilities? Electricity, gas, Telephone. Okay. There are lots of tools available online. I'm sure you've heard of them. One of the biggest fall downs is that they don't all use the same product. So even though you might get the cheapest rate on one tool, when you go and check elsewhere, there might actually still be a cheaper rate available. Okay. I've had a look at your electricity bill, and just there alone, we can save about $60 a quarter. So that's over $200 a year to really kickstart us into saving that $1,000. So my third tip is always a really big one. You can see you've got your statements here. Do you mind if we have a quick look at those? Yeah, yeah go sure. for it. These often come in, in the post, and the first thing you do is open it and put it in the top drawer, never to be seen again. Never look open at it. it. If you're confused about where your money is going, I think you'll find that the answers are lying right there in your bank statements. So just take 20 minutes to look at your statements for the last six months and see if you can spot any regular transactions for services that you're no longer using. Is there anything that you look at that stands out to you? There's one that has just leapt out at me, uh, and it's a subscription for a sports mag, and now I'm paying $35 a month. And yeah. it's those little things that add up to making the really big difference over the course of a year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. My next tip for you is actually to look at how can you cut down on your non-essential spending. Have you ever thought about how much your daily coffee habit is affecting your savings plan? Perhaps look at cutting back to buying just two coffees a week rather than one coffee a day and you'll be saving yourself at least $1,000 a year right away. Well, that's fantastic. You've got your top tips, but what other things can people be doing? There's so much out there that you can do and it's all the little things that make a really big difference. Have you ever sold anything before? I recently sold my first item online and that was a garment steamer that I'd had for four years and used once and I made $150. We've got so much stuff we could sell. What about the so bread maker? Much. The one I bought you. We are supporting. <laughs> As Australians, we live in such a consumer-driven society. I mean, have a look around the house at just how much stuff you have that you don't want or even need anymore. If you just pick out a few key items and pop them up online for sale, you'll be putting some money straight back into your budget. From all of these things that we've spoken about today, I've calculated that there's well over $1,000 worth of wow. savings. Excellent. Oh, we Thank could you. use a grand, couldn't we? Sure could. So how would you spend the $1,000? Buy a new bread maker. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you, Sarah. Pleasure. Anytime.